Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax on the channel, the Jackster. We are in Stoneblock and this is episode number 33. Uh, today we're going to do, I think we need to look at rice. I went ahead and turned off all of our, uh, all of our botany pots that were, we were doing with industrial hemp. And uh, let's see, let's go down to the singularities. And we have the balloons done. So yeah, that didn't take as long as I thought it might. But we did uh, kind of like boost everything like super, super speed anyway. So, yeah, we were using the watch flowing times and stuff like that. So we got 64 in here plus the 2K. Hopefully that'll be enough when we get ready to start making the, these things right here. The infinity catalyst instead of singularities, infinity catalyst. And then so we get to infinity ingots. Uh, so, yeah, we still got a little ways to go on that because we got one, uh, two, Three, that's kind of almost done. Four, five, I guess six, because we need to do the pig iron. Pig iron, I don't think will be too hard. So not really worried about it too much. But I know on some of the foods that we're going to need to make like ultimate stew, we're going to need quite a bit of rice. Because a lot of these have rice in them. And I don't think we got hardly any rice at all, so... I was gathering some stuff for that. So if we look in our system, I really don't think we have that much rice. Yeah, we got a couple of foods. And none of that has EMC there. I don't think the rice has EMC. So yeah. Wild rice. Looks like it does have EMC to make it, but I think Right here shows you we're going to need to make some mycelium, and that's kind of what I've. I grabbed some mushrooms and some dirt, and we're going to go up to the mechanism room, and make some mycelium, and then we'll. Uh, we'll probably let's see what we have. The the carbon is probably the item that we can dump. Probably the easiest, so we can take these out, even though we have it is full. We can go ahead and dump it. We'll put this in there. This is, will be our. Uh, infusing item is the fungus and then we'll throw the dirt into the system and this should make us some mycelium and then uh, we'll need to make a crick which we haven't done in a long time and let's see that's going to be a stone it's cobblestone so we need we need at least uh, eight cobblestone okay yeah we got plenty okay It gives a couple in case we need to. Add to the system. I hope you guys having a good uh, start in the new year. We can go ahead and start doing this. Cricket. Wild cabbage, we don't need. Wild carrot, sea beet, tomato shrubs, wild potato, wild onion. I think we're going to maybe the onion too. Um, let's throw these items over here. So we'll keep the onion, put the rest of items here. Hopefully we'll get enough within the stack of mycelium. I know this is a kind of a simple thing to do today, but uh, you know I thought we'd do it together. So okay, so we got wild, we got our wild rice that we need, and like I said, it's got EMC. We'll go ahead and finish up the stack, and if all this stuff has EMC, we'll put it in our. Um, EMC links. Actually, we can just put them in the table now.
So I'm going to keep doing this. If it's nothing exciting, I'll, I'll, I'll cut and then I'll come back. Okay, uh, we got our items made. It's repairing our crook. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if we need to do that. Does the crooks have EMC? Yeah, they do. So we can actually just throw it in here. Burn this one. So we've learned that. And then let's go ahead and learn all these items. That EMC, yes, it does. So we put that in there to learn it too. Okay, so we do, I think we want the onions. Um, I want a stack though. And then uh, let's see. The rice is what we started out we wanted to get, so we get we're gonna be able to do two things. Hopefully that'll give us what we want. We'll find out. And then um I want a drawer too. Let's so let's we're gonna need a couple more drawers. We'll take those out of the system, we'll take that out of the system. And we'll throw those up here. Be learned. And then when I'm typing in the R, sometimes it does add on. Okay, so that gets us everything we we I think we need here. We'll go back up to our crops area. And we'll set up um, a couple more drawers. I don't know how many more we're going to need, actually, so let's just set them over here. Next. And let's lock them. So we'll get our locking tool. It's the green one here. Okay, they're all locked. Now we need to get our uh, linking tool. Okay, so we have those all connected to it. Awesome. Eight. We'll start this side with rice. Uh, rice might actually require water. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it will. So we need to get some water eggs. Grab a stack of those out. And see, onions probably are fine with dirt. We'll just switch it out. So let's move this down here out of the way. Wild onions. Will they not grow in this? Click on you. Yeah, I'm not wanting to make fertilizer. Yes, the recipe. Pretty bored. Oh, okay. Maybe we don't need to grill those. We just need to dice them up. And since, since they have EMC, uh, we're pretty much done with them. And okay, that makes it easy enough. The rice is really what I want to check. So it doesn't seem like it uses water. My attempt mycelium. All right. Um, so let's take a look and see what it uses on the, the recipes. 
So if we go in here and press R for recipes, price, Okay, I'm not getting that. Let's see, let's go. That doesn't make any sense to me. So let's look at rice. Pretty sure this is what we're gonna wanna make. So just crafting one to one rice panicle. Just not what we have, but cutting board. We okay, so we can just cut that, and then we get a straw as a, by, a byproduct. Okay, so maybe we're done with the rice. I thought we were gonna have to do something else, because I think uh, if we look at the cosmic meatball. Or cosmic stew. It has rice, but I some of the, in some of the recipes. Let's see. Unwrap. No rice in that one. Dumplings. Stuffed potato. Well, there's the cooked rice, so. And a cooking pot, rice, and get beach. We'll have to test that, okay? So I guess we need to make a cooking board, a cutting board. There's a cutting board for us. Just place it down. And then we need a knife. our onions so the item gets placed here right click okay I don't know if that's supposed to be right clicked or not but that gets us our onions rice okay so we had one rice Let's see do it again right click we got three rice and then we got one by product of the straw. Okay, uh, let me set some of this up. I think I have an idea of what I want to do uh, to automate the rice and the, uh, the onions. I was thinking about using the system here, but I guess we won't. I'll probably need another room. We may set it up over here. I may just knock this out a little bit and be able to do it right here. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Okay, guys, we're back over here and I just outside of the crops room. We're, I think, you know, I decided to go ahead and put the even though we're going to do some machines, still messing with uh, crop type things, so food. So I thought I'd put it over here. So what I've done is I got 30 drawers, uh, two high of 15, connected them here to this uh, uh, functional storage uh, drawer controller. And then I've got uh, our refined storage system coming in here. Uh, I'm just testing, because I didn't know if this would work, the AMC link. Uh, piping out, which I know that works, but it will go right to a cutting board, which is cool. So then uh, let's see if we got another, let's get another link. And I'm just using like the personal ones because if we don't need the big ones, I guess it really doesn't matter, right? But so if we take another one, stick it in here, we need a little extra room for the cable or the pipe. And let's say this one we want to do the rice. I don't really have to move those around, but we target the rice. And then we switch it to output mode. There we go. So now I need to come up with a way for to cut these. And the only way I know, I think, is with the dispenser probably. So 
I grabbed a dispenser. We need a way to block that off. Let's see. So we want our dispenser at that height. So we need to face it down. So if we look up, pretty sure that's what we got. Let's take a look. Make sure though. Yeah, okay. So if we put a knife in it, uh, where do we do it for a knife? We probably put it over here. Nope. But put it over here when I was building, I guess. There we go. And let's test this system to see if it works. We need a lever, probably, or a button. I guess for a, we just do a button for now. Okay. Get our rice, so. Okay, so that looks like it's working pretty good. We do got the straw we have to handle, so. Uh, this actually might be a good place to put those items, so probably grab a barrel, trash can, actually let's put our trash can down here, close to it. We'll put a advanced item collector, and then we'll do a white list of items that can come in, like a straw. And then we'll have to see what kind of other op outputs we get. And then we can put this one. I don't think it would be too far away. So we need another advanced item collector. These has got a pretty big range. Um, not going to worry about any kind of uh, blacklist or whitelist. But let's see, how far does this go out? Turn the range on. Okay, so we just need to shift it to the east. Should be our X, I believe. I want to come back just a little bit. That should get it. Let's go right there. It's inside the room. Okay, no, we need to go back. Two more. We might actually have to move it. Yeah, we're just one one short. Yep, so let's go ahead and take that. We might be able to put it just like this. Okay, I think that picked it up. Went into the system. Let's look at our link. Yeah, it's should be working, so not what we want. Multiple. Okay, so we got it connected there. 
remove drawers from the controller. It's not what we want. Yeah, okay, there we go. I thought I had already added them, so. Okay, link to the drawer. So we should have seven. Yeah, so now it's working. <laughs> Okay, so we got seven in there. Uh, this is a trash can. We shouldn't have anything else coming into the barrel because we've got the uh, the byproducts of the straw going into the trash can. Okay, we might want to speed this up. So let's go to ultimate pipes. Okay, so it's instant. So we'll need a way to redstone trigger this. Or just make a redstone signal that does it. Uh, it seems like it's working uh, pretty good. Let's make sure we don't have any byproducts. So we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, let me set these two up and I'll be back. Okay, well, I guess we can do it. It's not, it's not that long to do both of those, so. And then we need another Spencer. And let's turn this range guy off. I got picked up, so it should be over here. Button. Take the knife out. And we'll probably put uh, uh, automate the knives coming in too. Okay, so this is going to give us some things we haven't look for yet so we're gonna get rid of that dye we'll keep the onions and we'll just put the onions up here so we'll add the dye hopefully we won't get too many byproducts that we, we're gonna need to get another uh, collector for it but we'll find out okay I know we're gonna need a, another speed upgrade here yeah, I got that filter in there for those. Okay, I took care of it. Okay, I think that works. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna grab a timer, probably an RF tools timer. Let's see, we can get into our system. And it said butt up there, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm thinking just a timer like this should work. So what do we need for that? Machine base. Okay. We should have room, uh, the way it's set up to put timer back here. And that's not the way we want it placed. If we just place it down right there, okay, cool. Uh, we need to rotate it. I don't know if we can rotate with this wrench. No. Uh, well, we have tons of wrenches though. Don't know if the pipe wrench will do it though. Well, the crate one does. Okay. That's not bad. That speed right there. See, it's once a tick. Let's try 10, so two times a tick. Not 10, 20. 
is 10. I messed it up. Okay, it looks like we're getting a different color too. Byproduct. Uh, we need to add that to our trash can filter. All right. Let's see if we can go to 10. That seems pretty good, right? I think that will work. All right, guys, I'm going to set these up. And on the next episode, we'll go over what we need to do to start making the cosmic meatballs. All right. I know this is a little bit weird. We do a little bit of testing and stuff, but I think this works pretty good. All right. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.